All hail the bed, it's your boy Big Bear B, and we're back for another edition of Big Bear Business. As you guys know, we are doing Cologne Week, and we are back with another one. Today, gentlemen, we are reviewing the safest scent to release in the last five years. Dior Sauvage, this one came out in 2015, and this one I purchased in a gift set. Pretty nice package on here, pretty simplistic. I think the best part about the package for this one is the magnetic top, which is really cool. You just sit it and forget it. That way if you're traveling, it doesn't come off and you won't get those empty sprays. Itemizer on this one works pretty well as well. It's like a, a halted itemizer, like really cool setup on that one but that's the presentation for Savage man pretty easy pretty simplistic like the fragrance itself this one here to me is a very safe fragrance that stated it's very generic even though it is a great seller people love it kind of bland I know I might get a lot of hate for that but overall I think there's a lot of hype with this fragrance here you have some good notes in this one so you have cedar you have vetiver you have patchouli you got pink pepper you got black pepper and uh, bergamot in this one but they don't really pronounce they don't really separate themselves and to me overall it's a pretty linear fragrance so it's kind of bland which isn't really a bad thing if that's what you're looking for if you're looking for a safe fragrance if you're looking for a fragrance that's really not going to offend many people that's going to be versatile that's going to work in many types of situations many occasions then this is the way to go so when to wear this fragrance again you can wear this anytime any place no matter if you're going to a club you're going to a job interview if you're going to you know kiss your, your girl for the first time you're going on a date I don't care where you are you can wear this fragrance and you're gonna be pretty safe not saying that everyone's going to love this fragrance but you're not going to offend anyone when wearing it this is going to work in any season spring summer fall winter you'll be a-okay with wearing this one and again it's going to perform well you're not going to offend anyone whether you're hot whether it's cold it's not going to change much if you purchase this fragrance if you're looking to purchase this fragrance you can get your feet in the door with this one for about 75 bucks for the smaller one if you're looking for the the granddaddy you know 150 for that and then this one's right under 100 bucks my personal opinion there's a lot better fragrances out there in the market for 145 if you're looking for that that six ounce bottle just in my personal opinion i think you can buy some much more unique and less generic and less popular fragrance for that 145 dollars price point with this one being a top selling fragrance for dior you can pretty much pick it up anywhere whether you're going to sephora you're going to alter you're going to a big box department store that's like jc penny or whether you're going to barney's and Saks, you're going to be able to find this one here pretty much flooded across the market if you're looking to go the retail route but then you can also find this one in a lot of the green market just Discount sites as well, so keep your eye out on this. With that being said, you want to make sure that you are being especially cautious when you purchase from spots like eBay because, with this one being such a high selling fragrance, you're likely to get a lot of fakes out there as well. Now, if you go and get this, or if you have this, you know this one will get you some compliments. But here's the thing it's a very popular fragrance, everyone has it, so you're going to smell like everyone else. I personally do not like to wear fragrances that other people have. So, if you know me in real life and you're watching this, you know that if you have a fragrance that I have. Have, I just won't wear it ever. For instance, Green Irish Tweed, one of my old bosses had that and I worked for him for about 11 months. And for 11 months, I just didn't wear Green Irish Tweed to work. That hurt my heart. And I would be in the same boat with this one. I just don't wear it. Longevity on this one, yeah, it's going to be okay. It's it's moderate to six, maybe maybe about six hours you'll get on this one. I did a test run on this one last night um, just to make sure that I was giving you guys accurate information. Maybe about six hours. You know, and that was just rarely in control settings. I didn't do much. I didn't sweat. didn't go. I just sat down and I was lazy all day. My wife personally doesn't like it, so you might come across someone who's not really a fan of it, but it won't offend them. They just might not like it. So if you're dating, make sure you don't wear something like this because you might smell like the jerk ex-boyfriend or ex-husband, etc. who might wear this. I was in Publix today. A young man had this on. No, he's probably like 17, 18. I don't want to smell like him. You know, I want to show that, hey, it's different over here. <laughs> you know, I'm a man. Well, you can be a boy. Choice is yours. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give it maybe a seven and a half. 
That's just my personal opinion. Please don't hate me. Please don't kill me. Let me know what your thoughts are. Comment below and let me know. Hey, this your staple in your collection? Then let me know. And listen, I know not everyone out there is going to agree with what I'm saying right now. But I know there's some brave souls out there who understand what I mean. Who are willing to fight with me in resistance for Dior Savage. If you on team Big Bear B, comment below. Let me know. It's your boy Big Bear B. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we back again. And this Cologne week. Hit the guy. Damn, bitch.